Hey Libra, what's going on? We're here with a timeless reading for you. Welcome. We are starting off with the Fool. The Fool is the beginning of something new. New territory can feel like a bit of a slate wiped clean as well. Immediately there's conflict. What's this? Okay. I don't know if you personally have something new going on or this is you and a person have something new going on, but it feels like regardless of whether this is just you doing something new or it's the both of you guys doing something new, that immediately there can be a bit of an offset or there can be a bit of tension or friction. Like a very obscure example that I can use here or like metaphorically speaking, it would kind of be like you and this person get plopped in a new land and you're like, we should explore it like this. And they're like, no, we should explore it like that. And you can feel like you guys kind of have some tension with this of how this is supposed to go. This is like a partnership of any type. It, it seems like it has to do with you in a one-on-one -on -one relationship that is like involved in this. And it seems like it's about the way that you guys are like meant to be sort of working together through something, but it can be something where like, like neither of you necessarily have experience with this exact thing, but you can both have opinions on this and you can also both feel like they're differing a bit with this, you know, like we should do it like this. No, we should do it like this. So even though both of you guys are sort of this is going to be a space of exploration at the same time you can feel like you guys have like different ideas or maybe different priorities of, of how this should be done and how to do this and that like all of it so i'm seeing that sort of be the thing that's coming up right now That's also not to say that like one person is right and one person is wrong. You just may have two different ways of doing things and it can feel like it's clashing a bit currently. I mean, for some of you, this can even be a relationship that you're getting into, you know, like you're, you're trying to work something out with this person and it's like, my idea of the relationship looks like this. And they're like, well, my idea of the relationship looks like that. And it doesn't mean that you're not compatible. It just means that this is about needing to like confront what this is that's going on, which can at times feel a little bit uncomfortable, but needing to just put everything out on the table to get this squared away as if it's possible to do, you know, like with that mindset. Cause you're both here like might as well try to figure it out okay i feel something coming up here with eight of cups where it's like maybe this isn't the thing for me like maybe i should just maybe this isn't working out but i'm seeing that come as more of a defense mechanism so libra if you're getting if you have a situation going on with somebody I'm getting confirmation of this. You have a situation going on with somebody and you're like, maybe we're just not compatible or maybe I'm just not gonna find what I'm looking for. This feels like not true, but it's something that intellectually or like mentally you could be telling yourself, but from a space of being shut down. Like maybe you don't like when this person is not agreeing with you or they have their own opinion on things and you're like, well, I think we should go with my opinion and they're not, you know? or whatever it is within this situation, like wherever the conflict is coming from with you and this person. I don't get the sense that this is like a lack of compatibility. It feels more like a, a difference in preference here and definitely something that can be worked out, but there can be a part of you that's like, 
I don't know if you've threatened this or not or it's like just in your head but you could be like thinking about actually like leaving this situation but I'm seeing five of swords on the bottom of the deck which feels like this can be a part of you where you know that you could be being like a little bit um impatient with this where you're like I would just like this there to not be conflict you know and this to work smoothly but you know like things can work smoothly if you work out the conflict first relationships don't tend to always be so perfect and even though there's a part of you that's like it's important for me to have harmony within the dynamic harmony can be something that can be worked towards and then you can realize that harmony within the dynamic with this person so just because something is coming up now to be addressed doesn't mean you won't be able to establish a harmonious dynamic with this person it feels like the work is to actually do that but there can be a part of you that's like that feels a little bit shut down in the heart space. You could feel like more in the cerebral space right now and less in the heart space. And there can be a part of you that's kind of just wants to like walk away from this, you know, or be like telling yourself like, maybe I'm not gonna find what I'm looking for here, but this feels more like a defense mechanism than anything. Cause you may be uncomfortable with the fact that you have to confront something here that is like, you have to uh, address some type of conflict. And I, I think too, like naturally, Libra archetypally speaking, it's very, very important for people that have a lot of Libra in their significant Libra placements, a lot of Libra Venus within your chart. You want it to be like balance and for there to be peace and to be getting along. So having this five of wands can be like, this doesn't feel right. You know, it can feel like the bane of your existence but it, it feels like this is just a natural thing, you know, that comes up sometimes and that doesn't mean that the relationship is worthless to you. It just means that if you're willing to confront this and grow in this area of your life, this can actually be something that really works out for you. But yeah, I definitely get this feeling of you may not like that you and this other person like just aren't smoothly getting along and there can be a part of you that's like, your ego can feel a little bit triggered here and be like forget this you know like that type of thing regardless of whether you voice this or not it can just be something that you're thinking about like contemplating but i'm not i'm not seeing your guides be like yeah this doesn't work walk away i'm seeing that be more of a defense mechanism than anything because i don't think that that's reflective of your relationship with this person it feels like this is more like now that you're in this arena with them, like how do you work through this without abandoning it? Just because there might be some differences here. So if you were wondering if there was a question on your mind, I feel like things are escalating very quickly. <sighs> For some of you, I'm wondering too, was something going on? Did things end with this person, but now it's coming back up because you may be reconnecting with them? I wanna get further and see like the whole template of this. Ooh opportunity comes to an end but then regrets about that is what i'm seeing here this can feel like in retrospect okay so for some of you you may there may have actually been like a splitting away from this person regardless of how it happened it feels like like everything is you like wake up in this situation right with this person we're gonna explore uncharted territory within the relationship within this situation there's nothing but potential here feels like friction feels like then actually something totally concludes which can even mean like your relationship with this person like i wonder if, if something then happened just because of having tension like you could have gotten into an argument some type of confrontation conflict with this person but then it feels like now grieving the relationship. This does though feel like if there was a lot of potential there and then things came to an end, Five of Cups feels like 
kind of regretting that a little bit like that can be something now like I'm seeing where this is coming from so if you were in this situation and you were like man this isn't for me and you ended up you ended up splitting away from this person it feels like a prime opportunity that could have too soon come to an end and then been like why did I have to go like that because we actually I felt like there was a lot of potential here that's what this is feeling like I do I do feel like regardless of what happens this it feels like this is a lesson in in addressing conflict and also recognizing to when defense mechanisms sort of come up and like what would motivate you to make certain choices that you would make I do get the notion here of being like I'm looking for something that like makes me happier that feels better to me feels more aligned with what I'm looking for but I I do still feel this sense of like regret that may be sticking with you or just like sadness maybe maybe it's not regret maybe it's disappointment that something didn't work out like there was all the potential there and then why did it have to happen like this you know Is it love lost? I'm seeing the Hermit and I'm seeing Ace of Cups. This feels like reviewing potential connection. I wanna move some things around though. Yeah. From what I'm seeing, this looks like, it looks like too early, maybe dipping out on a situation, regardless of who did what. You could have felt like, like premature, yes, that was the word I was looking for, prematurely. Could have felt like there was all that potential, like raw potential and exploration and that you didn't fully explore it. And that when like a, there was a bump in the road, um, that ended up sort of confusing the vision here and then you and this person but like the it feels like the maybe the whole relationship concluded based off of that but now i'm getting you be in a spot of actually thinking about all of this it it just feels like this happened all based off of a conflict of some sort So you could be in a space now where you're in you're in a period of thinking and being like remembering back to the beginning of like just it feels like that moment of like just opening the book of your relationship with this person and being like on a new land and there's so much to explore and there's so much potential and like the the shiny newness of something you know where there's not even a footprint in the snow of your relationship with this person. So I'm seeing there be like thinking about that and thinking about that and thinking about that and then all of the things that happen, the like the walking away, the the sadness about that, the the conflict, how this could have been like felt like an untapped opportunity of potential for this to be really be something for you that you could connect with and that you'd actually feel really happy with and then like the splitting away the ending of the relationship and like all of this stuff being on your mind and then i'm seeing ace of cups so it's like so after all of this are you thinking about maybe having a new beginning with this person is that something that's been on your mind i'm seeing virgo and i'm seeing gemini here and I'm seeing Uranus as well. Like Uranus can be something happening, like somebody could come into your life very quickly and then exit very quickly. It can, it's a very erratic energy where it can also like make things appear, but then also take things away. So something can be there and then not be there, you know, and then be there again. So it can even feel like it sort of happened in a flash. And it, also too, the energy of Uranus is like, it brings things to you that are from like a very, very divine realm as well, in a way that can feel like faded, how things can happen. 
I do feel like all of this is coming up and being thought about because you may be thinking about potentially like reenacting is reenacting the right word i feel like you wouldn't want the same situation to repeat with this person i feel like there's an intention or there's a thought at least about maybe reopening a chapter with this person or trying to restart something or try things again is what this feels like more than anything gemini i'm hearing sagittarius i'm also seeing virgo here I also know too that sometimes it's not always the case, but wherever you have Libra in your chart, like let's say that um, you have like Libra moon, like your person that you've been dealing with could have a Gemini moon or a Virgo moon. Or like if you have a Libra rising, they could have a Gemini rising or a Virgo rising. Sometimes the readings work like that too. Or whatever you sort of know them to be, you know, like Having Gemini here can be like somebody that you communicated with a lot, but you can bicker with that person too. Having Virgo here can be kind of like scrutinizing the relationship, you know, like something going on. That can also be, these can be your placements as well, placements within your chart too of prominence. So all that being said, I feel like we just talked about what you've been thinking about what's been on your mind. We reviewed a relationship that feels like opened up a lot of potential, something happening, bump in the road, ending of the relationship. Now you're thinking about it being like, could I have found what I was looking for there? That being on your mind. Having us end with Hermit feels like you've just been thinking about these things, but you may not have acted on this yet necessarily. Well, regardless of what you did, it, it feels like this is just something that's been on your mind that you haven't been able to fully speak about. So even for some of you, if you did reach out to someone, you can feel like you still didn't get like all of this off your chest, like you didn't get to talk about this stuff. So. If you didn't say anything to them, you can feel like you're still holding this within you. If you did say something to them, you can feel like you're still holding this within you where you didn't like explicitly say that this is what's on your mind. I do feel something energetically buzzing around about there potentially being a move made like like connecting with the other person and there being some type of opening to try things again. I'm just getting something about that with you and them. I'm seeing there be a serious intention here. Over by Virgo, I'm seeing King of Pentacles pop out. Feels like wanting to put the outfit back on to like play this part with them again is really what this is seeming like. How to make that happen. This feels like figuring out, figuring out what to do now. Maybe just to, the notion of bringing this to this person's attention is really the first step. I'm seeing a lot about just the potential of things, like nothing really beyond that. I'm just seeing potential, I'm seeing thoughts, 
I'm seeing like the track record of what had happened and then the possibility of what could happen now. I feel almost like nothing more than that is being disclosed because it's all going to depend on what one does here. Like you could be thinking about all this stuff and then do nothing about it. You could be thinking about all this stuff and then do something. Um, but it's all going to be up to you and the choice that you make here. And if this is really worth it to you. I'm seeing a very focused energy, so it feels like more likely than not, if this is something that's been heavily on your mind, you may make that move here. You know, if this is like, like I want to play that role with this person, then try to create that opportunity then with them. I want to get uh, three more cards out and see. Interesting. I do get the sense that this would be having Ace of Cups and having Ten of Pentacles can feel like this actually is what you're looking for. Your relationship, like a connection with this person would really be something of true value to you. Like it, it would be meaningful, it would hold significance for you. I'm also though too seeing um, three of swords here and I'm seeing the moon why is that here we're gonna clarify why is the three of swords here I'm seeing the moon again the moon represents Pisces there can be something hidden that you don't know about. Well, when I say hidden, I can I mean more so there can be like something something unknown about this situation, something that you don't know right now. That like something that hasn't been disclosed yet or something that hasn't fully come to light yet. Something that you wouldn't necess necessarily be aware of right now. To have the moon twice. Hmm. I wonder if this has to do with something going on with the other person and less so about your own energy. Like, if, if you haven't been in contact with this person, you may not know, like, what they currently have going on within their life. Maybe it's, it has something to do with that. Mm. Well. It does feel like there's a lot of potential to, to invest in the connection with them. I'm seeing seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So it, it feels like, do you want to go this way? Do you not want to go this way? Do you want to just see what could happen if you do? You don't go into it and be like, if this is something that I gave my energy to, like just see what would come of it. Having ace of cups, having three of pentacles feels like maybe there's some more work to be done, some more learning, some more interacting, some more you know cooperation with you and this person just like seeing what could happen between the two of you this does feel very much like a worthwhile investment if this was something that you ended up doing with them i'm seeing ten of pentacles and i'm seeing king of pentacles and this is something that it's like this would be a worthy thing for you to have within your life like it holds value for you and the like the lifestyle that you want you know and it would be a role that means a lot for you to be playing. It feels like specifically with this person in the dynamic, like it would allow you to play out something that you want to play out. Potential of the connection, working on things with this person, you know, cooperating, collabing, communicating, all of those things with this person to see what happens. I am though seeing like I I need to just say I'm seeing three of swords here so there can be something about like pain that will be revisited 
but that doesn't mean that it can't be worked out on. This can be something where it's like, I still have a wound about that, but this can be an opportunity to actually heal that, you know? But I do wanna say that even though the Ace of Cups is here, which can feel like plugging in the way that you wanna plug in within the heart space, having Three of Swords here can be some difficult stuff or some charged things that are gonna be coming up that will also be part of this as well. So if you know that there will be some stuff to confront here as well, if you're willing to sort of work on those things, it can be really valuable. And this can be some, some stuff of wounding that you carry with you that can actually be worked out through this situation. So know that it's not gonna be just a completely easy thing. This can be something where it's like, I have some stuff within myself that I need to address and you'll get to do that through this opportunity. But it can be stuff that you have to really be willing to work with those parts of yourself that may be very sensitive or tender, okay? Some of you, this can have to do with some type of masculine figure in your life or not in your life from when you were younger. Something along the lines of that. Or like an authority figure of some sort. Can bring up something about that in like discreet ways. Stuff that you may not be like fully aware of at all times. Are you gonna do it? Are you not gonna do it? Are you gonna take the shot and see if it goes in or not? Might as well, huh? All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.